My name is Tandi Hans and I am a footballer essentially from Delhi and I moved to Bangalore in 2017. That's the year that Sisters in Sweat came to exist as well and I am a co-founder. So SIS was uh, an opportunity that fell into Tanvi and my lap uh, one evening. Uh, Tanvi had just moved from Delhi. She got me to go out for this party where I introduced her to my friend Shonali. I'm Shonali Rebello and I was one of the first members of Sisters in Sweat. Shonali at the time was already a few drinks down and Shweta introduced me to a slightly inebriated Shonali as Tandi the footballer. I went to her and I said, listen, I want to learn hockey, but I heard that you play football. <laughs> Would you be willing to teach some friends of mine uh, and me football? Obviously, Shweta and I, we kind of looked at each other. We were like, listen, she's a little bit tipsy. We don't know whether we should take her seriously or not. So I said, okay, Shonali, let's uh, get a few girls together. We'll book out uh, a field uh, or a, a, a turf next weekend. And so we just invited our friends. I thought maybe, maybe, if we're lucky, four or five girls would show up. And about 17 women turned up for that very first session. And that's kind of how we figured that there is, you know, a sort of demand for this. So yeah, I, I do remember that first session we had. And I think more than app apprehension, it was pure delight to be able to play sport again. I think I played right through school and college. And the idea of like being able to play again and to be able to play with just women who were friends. We had music playing in the background, again very intentionally. Um, and then the women loved that one and a half hour session, that entire experience and they said uh, that please do this for us every weekend. And that's really how it happened. We did that one football session for them every weekend for almost like a year, year and a half. Our community grew to about 300 women just organically from that one session. I think it's been a really interesting evolution from coming together just to play sport to moving towards really building very valuable relationships. I mean, some of my close, I've grown up in Bangalore for most of my life and I've met some of my closest friendships in the last few years. Uh, over the years, it's evolved in terms of you know, different sports and um, it's particularly helped uh, women. Um, and of different age groups and in fact my daughter who's 16 years old I bring her to you know play uh, play football and basketball and we thoroughly enjoy ourselves and it's also a bonding time for us. That the power of uh, the sisterhood has been great because in that women have found uh, their friends, uh, they found networking opportunities, they found you know work opportunities, they found flatmates to bunk with you know uh, women who've been in, going through pretty tough times in their lives have found happiness on the field with us at SIS. It's, it's just beautiful, actually I can't put words to the relationship that we have, um, uh, right? It's strong, anything that you need, say from a nurse to a doctor to, uh, to a vet, etc. You just put it up on the group and you know, everybody is like out there, not only giving you leads, but also making sure that they go along with you. This is the, the I mean, the best, the best way for women to come together, really. Because um, what team sports has given men over the years, that women were kept out of, right, historically is something that is so powerful um, for women and in this space uh, because we started at I mean the, the Motley crew that started was so much older right at the starting point we yeah I mean we just applauded for everything I've done it through pregnancy I think I played football till I was seven months pregnant and I was back out again playing football with you guys when I up two months after the small one was born and I've gone through prenatal depression with it it's, it's just walked me through the most difficult and maybe the most joyful times of my life. So, yeah, it's, it's just, it's everything for me. As much as we intend to make a difference in the lives of the women that, that we're able to reach, you have no idea the amount of difference it makes to us. And it makes it so much easier for us to feel like we're not even doing a job half the time. You know, we're just trying to make people happy doing things that we love doing anyways um, and I think it's truly a blessing and there's a lot of love and happiness at the centre of what we do. I think we're very lucky. That's all.